Are you ready for some research? I love doing research with Dr. D. Did you bring the items I requested? Of course. I brought some old tennis shoes and Catherine brought some soccer cones. Great. I wanted to meet you here at the Hubba Hubba Highway because the speed of its current is a lot like the Gulf Stream. It looks like it's moving pretty fast. Does the Gulf Stream move that fast? Let's find out. I brought a stopwatch and a measuring tape. We can find its velocity or speed. I know the formula for velocity. It's distance divided by time. So if we measure the distance between two points and then time a floating object between them, then we can find the velocity. Very good. We need to do five trials. You should always do more than one trial in an experiment and then find the average. Excellent. Next, we need to decide how far apart the two points should be and mark the distance with the cones. How about putting them 10 meters apart? Fine. What object should we time? Oh, I get it. That's why we brought these tennis shoes. That's correct. Let's get started. trials averaged 8.65 seconds. So if we use the formula and divide 10 by 8.65, that means that the velocity is about 1.2 meters per second. The Gulf Stream's velocity averages between about one and one and a half meters per second. Wow, both the Hubba Hubba Highway and the Gulf Stream move really fast. Now it's time for you to experience the power of the Gulf Stream by swimming against the current. It should be easy. Let's see which one of you is a stronger swimmer. I predict no contest. That's right. I'll be the champ. Wow. That was a lot harder than I expected. I can certainly see why it took two weeks longer to get mail in colonial days when the ships were sailing against the current. OK, there's still more research to do. Let's float around the Hubba Hubba Highway and see if we all float at the same speed. This sounds like my kind of research. Yeah. 